do a video about walking. Yes, another video about walking. One of my associates from the International Society of Hobos, Bums, and Related, uh, related Trades is uh, planning on climbing, a, well not climbing, but hiking up a mountain in an undisclosed location in the southwestern United States. Now, what does this have to do with walking? Well, of course, hiking is basically just walking in the wilderness. But more importantly, walking is the most free and easiest form of exercise for most people. Of course, barring a leg injury or something like that. But the thing is, walking benefits the human organism by knocking down inflammation, by increasing lung capacity, by stimulating the brain, uh, by improving cognitive, and, I mean, and how this results is it results in over better all health and helps actually delay cognitive decline as one ages. Uh, what many people don't understand is highly trained athletes that train for athletic performance don't really live all that much terribly longer than the general population. However, people that continuously move like walking and, you know, gardening and field work and these things tend to do much better in the long run. And uh, this is why walking is so important to the health of the individual. Uh, when I was homeless, I walked uh, anywhere from uh, 7 to 18 hours a day. I probably set a couple world records with my walking uh, simply because that's just what you have to do when you're a bum is you have to move from place to place so that you don't get hassled. Uh, it's very hard to understand this. Like a lot of times what's funny is this, this associate of mine in the southwestern United States, uh, what he said, and it's actually true, if you're walking long distance and you're stopped by the police, and this has happened to me for uh, what I like to call walking while white, they don't believe that you're walking as far as you are because they do not believe that the human body can do that. And I think that's true. And in fact, I know it's true because they, I remember one time I was stopped and the police asked me where I was coming from and where I was going to. And people that are familiar with the area that I was in, um, I said I was coming from Andalusia and going to Five Points. And uh, I don't think anybody that views this channel is familiar with that area, but the cop actually said, don't be a smartass, okay? Because he did not believe a person could walk from where I was to where I was going. And uh, I forget how many miles it is, but it's quite a few miles. My point is, is that the human body is capable of some amazing feats, but the beauty of walking versus some athletic forms of conditioning is walking is gradual. Walking does not have to be done in a way that stresses the body. In fact, walking shouldn't be done in a way that stresses the body. Uh, but when it's done in the way it's supposed to be done, at a gentle pace or a slightly brisk walk, it actually reverses damage to the body. It knocks down inflammation. It increases the, um, the cognitive output of the brain. And it helps with blood pressure and things of that nature. And that's all for this video.